everybody. This is a Lamley preview. Very exciting one. Not only because I have a ton of soon to be released Matchbox models that I'm gonna preview for you today, including five brand new castings, but I have got a first, the very, very first Matchbox Super Chase. Think Super Treasure Hunt, think whatever you want. It is that kind of thing. And Matchbox sent this along with this whole mix for me to showcase for you. We're gonna to get to that Super Chase um, here in a second, but we gotta breeze through all these models and spend some time with these new castings. So let's get right to it. We're gonna go back to front. Got the new models over here to the side, so make sure you stay with us. We're gonna make a mess very quickly. We start with the Subaru Sandbar. I'm gonna show you artwork. Like I said, this is the next mix that's coming out. And then I'll show you the model. Subaru Sandbar, we've seen in several different colors. Blue, white, uh, Sriracha, I believe, right? And now we have it just in plain black. Very, very cool, tiny little Subaru key car, right? K car, key car, um, which is cool and it's nice and small. I think, you know, I've seen a few, hang the, a few of these hanging, but I hopefully it's a casting that people appreciate. And one that Matchbox did right with that small... Um, that small scale. Next one. This is actually a new model, but not licensed. Another small model. It is the Matchbox Mini Cargo Truck. I don't know what, what to say about it other than it's an airport truck, right? And uh, I think it's very cool. This is the kind of, these are the kind of like peripheral vic vehicles. If, they're, if Matchbox is going to do unlicensed, don't do something that's just pure fantasy. Give us Give us a vehicle that, uh, you know, no one, no one's at the airport looking at the, the cargo truck going, what brand is that? Right? We just do it based on, we just look at it. So this is kind of cool. So that's what I think they should do. That lot of construction vehicles, that sort of thing. Next one, 2020 Jeep Gladiator. This is the second color, right? First one was in red last year. Now we have it in this uh, kind of just straight up blue pickup version, right, of the, uh, of the Rubicon. International Armored Car. I'm just going to let it turn on the turntable for just a second and let you look at it. It's plastic and it has a metal base. Poop King. It's carrying two portable toilets for those that need it. Next one is the Matchbox Garbage Scout. It'd be cool if it were licensed pickup. It has those pickup, uh, those pickup wheels on it. Cool model. Another one that I just think works as a utility vehicle, right? Next one totally underappreciated model in my view. This is the Mazda CX-5. And if you look at the crispness of the grill, you look at the uh, details in the casting, while a CX-5 might not make you turn your head when one drives by, in terms of just really well done casting, this one really stands out. I think this is a really, really nice casting and deserves a little more love than I think it gets from us collectors. So hopefully I just gave it its proper due. Next one. Nice to see the Garbage King back. Um, I can't remember. This is a metal cab now with the plastic rear. I'm fine with that. It's a generic garbage truck. Give me the plastic here and don't give me the plastic elsewhere. You know, on another model, uh, another licensed model. So I'm totally fine with this one. This is the Polaris Slingshot. Another cool version. I think this is uh, what we've seen it in red. Maybe one other color as a maybe a nine pack exclusive right now we have it in this black with the red trim which is cool clever casting right lamborghini gallardo police i like this mattel global security i have not been well let's uh, let's create a narrative right if you're stealing super treasure hunts and selling them at least they might show up in style to bust you right when global security comes in and says we can't let these leak out of the factory Maybe they've spent too much time worrying about what ride they're going to drive and actually busting people who are stealing the super treasure on side of the factory, right? They could, they could drive up to the people who are buying them here on this end, too, um, in their Lamborghini and bust them here, too. Kind of wish they would. All right, that is the Gallardo Police. Next one. You like that story? Uh, 95 Nissan Hardbody, the D21. Third color of this one. Debuted last year. Then we saw it in that truck series. This color is off the charts awesome. This kind of aqua turquoise color, very much era appropriate. Two that I'm really happy about for different reasons. Number one, here is the 2016 Alfa Romeo Giulia 
we have only seen this in the main line once. Was it early, early last year? It was in the first mix. Now we're seeing it late in this mix. It was in red with the, was it dark five spokes? Now we get it in white with the black. And in fact, I like this look, white with black rims, so much that uh, I've probably said it too much because Abe showed this to me and said, hey, I think you're going to like this one, black rims with white. And I was like, of course I'm going to like it. It's such a cool look. And so I'm thrilled to have this one, Julia, looking fantastic in this white version, kind of a pearl white color to match the, uh, the Julia Sprint, right? The 65 Julia Sprint. And lastly, um, really cool version. I've actually, I put this on Instagram and I want to, I want to show it. In fact, I, I've debated whether to open this or not. This is only the second release of the Subaru SVX and that's significant enough because it is a fantastic casting that's really, really, really well done. But I want to point out a couple of things. Number one is this, this special logo designed by Michael Geralda, um, here, obviously paying tribute to the designer of this car and someone who has quite the legacy with Matchbox, uh, Rio Asada. Rio started at Matchbox and moved across the hall to Hot Wheels and then, of, of course, sadly passed away earlier this year. And we're going to see some tributes rolling out from uh, Matchbox. We saw this one from Matchbox. We'll see a couple from Hot Wheels soon, too. Um, but I think this is a really cool tribute. This casting was done because of Rio. Rio was a huge fan of the Subaru SVX, owned a couple of them. Uh, in his time and designed this one for Matchbox. We saw it debut in white a couple years ago, right? Two or three years ago it's actually been now. And now we see it in this color, another uh, appropriate color for the, uh, for the SVX. The other thing I'll show you is here on the back um, is this uh, Rio Asada, this Asada license plate on the back, which is really, really cool too. So not only if you keep it carded, you get this tribute, and I definitely want to keep one carded, but you get, um, if you open it too, you're going to get that Rio Asada tribute on the back, on the back license plate. How cool is that? We'll put this like right here. All right, let's get to the new models. I'm going to start with this one because I didn't get it. Uh, this is the Mazda 3. I have gotten so many questions about when are we going to see the Mazda 3? Well, here you are. It is the Mazda 3. I uh, in this group of carded models, I didn't get this one carded, so I, but I've actually had this version of the Mazda 3 in my possession for well over a year. Um, it's just been delayed. I have no idea why, but now it is here, and it will be hitting this mix as well. So nothing to open, but uh, there is the, uh, the Mazda 3. It is one of five new models in this, uh, in this particular mix. So let's get to the other ones. I've got the other four here that we'll... Uh, We'll just go ahead and open up, and I think you're going to like a lot of them. All right, let's start with this one. It is the 1953 Buick Skylark. Fantastic art. And let's just, uh, I'll open these on camera. The other ones I won't, but these I will. We're getting a handful of good classic cars. Very much Abe's interest, I think, is, in the, is this style of car. And uh, so it's cool while he's... Uh, while he's been uh, while he's been running a lot of the brand, we've seen a lot of these cool castings, old Cadillacs, things like that, that we've seen. And this one definitely fits that just kind of big convertible boat, fits perfectly uh, within that. And I think that's going to be a favorite for a lot. As will this one, 1932 Ford Coupe. So this is another new model. Here's the art, another Abe interest. Right? Is uh, if you get to know Abe, you know that uh, this is the kind of stuff he loves this kind of era of car. And uh, here you go right here in red. Now this one's cool because it got those um, convoy wheels on the back and then the uh, discs on the front. It looks really cool. Just a candied red. I eh, maybe I wouldn't call it candy. Just bright, bright red. Uh, Firestone matchbox on the, uh, on the back. Just a nice little hot rod. Clean hot rod that I know Abe's probably pretty stoked about. We'll put that here. Okay. If there is any car I've been asked about more, it is, well, it's the Mazda 3 for some reason and the Land Rover Defender 90. Many, many folks have been asking about this one. It is finally here, part of this last, uh, not last mix, but one of this current mix of this new mix. There's your art. It's in that stock Land Rover uh, Defender color. Matchbook, I thought about bringing out some old 90s. There's a billion of them, but I'm just going to show this by itself. So 
it is dark. I don't know if it has an interior or not. I don't want to say yes or no, but I cannot tell. It's very, very dark inside. But the casting itself looks fantastic. I hope it has an interior, but it may not. I don't know. It's kind of light. I think just looking at it, it looks really, really good. That one looks cool. My favorite of this mix of the new models has to be this guy, the new Tesla Roadster. Let me open this one up and then I'm going to compare it with this one, if you remember this one. I've, I think I've talked about in the past, but let's look at this uh, kind of satin red. There's the art. This satin red Tesla Roadster, which looks amazing. Here it is. It is in kind of a dark chrome rim with a satin red color. This casting is almost dead spot on. Now, I haven't seen a Tesla Roadster in person, the new Tesla Roadster. Has anybody? Outside of maybe at a car show or something. Um, but this thing is fantastic. All the proportions are there. It looks super mean from the front, from the side, from the back, every angle. And it's a great color and great wheel combination. Now, if you remember, Matchbox did this uh, kind of a promotion just to show what Mattel is doing in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, kind of updating their products to be, I'll even just open it up, to be carbon neutral. And Matchbox has set some goals, I think within the next, what, 10 years to do a completely carbon neutral product. And they used this Tesla Roadster as their example. And they did this special version. They sent this to certain media outlets and things, and I was lucky to get one. Um, with this, this is not standard packaging, by the way. This is just special packaging for this particular model. This is not what Matchbox will be moving forward. But I think you'll see some sort of like new packaging. But they did this model, which everything about it, from the metal to the plastic base, is all carbon neutral. And I can, com I, so it's the same casting, but completely different. I don't want to drop these. And one of the things you can look at is look at the base of this car, and then you'll see. I'll show you the base of the new of the uh, carbon neutral version and you can see almost there's almost a texture difference I don't know if it comes across in the uh, in the model but the wheels are different the base is different the metal is different the interior is different but the casting is exactly the same so you can kind of get a sense of what these look like so this Tesla Roadster version that you're going to buy in the store is a standard, just like any other Matchbox, but there is this special version which might come out later, just as, I mean, they might, I, don't, I have no idea what the plans are. Ultimately, this is what a Matchbox model will be, is what this white Tesla will be. But there is that. That is the Tesla Roadster, and we're finally going to end, and this is, I didn't open the Rio model, um, and I'm not going to open this one either, because I'm going to save this one, but I want to show it to you. So when you're going to the store and you see this mix, so you see the Tesla, you see the Skylark, you see the Defender and some of these other models, you know you have found this mix. Keep your eye open for this red, white, and blue Matchbox Super Chase Corvette, 2020 Corvette. This is what is now, this is a new thing for Matchbox. It is not going to be in every mix. There's not going to be a Super Chase in every mix, but this is like a super treasure hunt for Matchbox. You can see it has the two-piece Real Rider style tires. It has the chrome rims. And this is one of those things. Is the de What do you think of the Deco? Me, I'm not particularly fond of it, but it does do its thing, right? It does stand out compared to other Matchbox models. Half the Super Treasure Hunts you find are not that good looking. It's just you're happy that you found a Super Treasure Hunt. And I know there's comments right now, oh, the scalpers are going to snag this. Well, they always snag the Supers too, right? So this is kind of a cool thing. Even with scalpers snagging all the Supers, when I do occasionally come across one, how much of a thrill is it? Matchbox is jumping in on that, and I think that's really kind of cool. So this is the model. I'm showing it to you best I can. You can see that it actually gets all the detailing. So front, rear, side, back, everything. So it is truly like a, I, wouldn't, I don't know if you maybe call it premium. I guess it is premium with those real rider tire, tires and whatnot. But um, it's a special model. And if you're looking in a case, this is what you want to look for. Or is it from the back? I don't remember. But if you find a Corvette in this mix, you are one lucky person. And I am very curious to see how many times people will find these in cases. I'll get a case to open. We'll see if the Super Chase is in there. I want to see if it's as rare as a Super Treasure Hunt. Or You guys tell me what you think. What do you think of the new models? We've got, uh, what, five new models to add to a very stellar mix of new models so far just in the basic range. Hard to pick a favorite at this point, but you guys can try. I'll try too. We got a few more to come. Thanks, everybody.
บาย